in the collages, collages of. You know what I mean? Like, not to sound like that kind of thing about it, but it is, it will, it'll work you. You know what I mean? It'll make you work. Because, I mean, it's just like that kind of, for me, that's, I mean, I know what it's like to make a painting. I've done that, drawings, yeah, I love that. But I'm just saying collage is very difficult medium in a way, in a, or a style. Is there like that thing of like, keep coming back to it because you're trying to master it? Or is that part of it? Or is there, or is that, is that too Mother much? Teresa, <laughs> Mother Teresa had her doubts too. She, <laughs> about her faith. And whether the work was any good. So you keep getting it better and better. So yeah, yeah, I, I, have, I keep getting back to it just because it is like worth looking into. That's a good science to be a part of. Are you literally sort of just putting images next to each other and sort of thinking of things work? Yeah, yeah. Finding out which, uh, what makes a balance in as I start. So sometimes I think what's going on is <clears throat> things go towards the side or I start to find like some kind of center, but it's not the center. You know what I'm saying, stupid, but it's true. So you let those things start to drag. It's like Ouija board. You know, it's like they find their way on their own. It's not like I have any real, I mean, of course they are controlled, but not that way, you know. So it's sometimes chance and accidental is a really key thing to, I think, making collages like that. And so, and then actually, do you care about the histories of the actual things? Yeah, I do. Oh, I do, definitely. I mean, I have, I have a lot of uh, reverence for that kind of stuff, but I think what I do is, what I'm doing is kind of like, if you're tearing something like that up, a document or something that's important, you're irreverent in that sense. Okay. You know, like, so you are doing something that is like, kind of like, weirdly forbidden. You know what I mean? Take a, maybe even an expensive book and tearing the plates out and using them for your own devices. So they're patched together. So as far as composition, or even of sketching would come into that, I would try to keep things in order. I think. I'm patching to save something in, on the surface of the collage, right, I'm, or the image. I'm trying to get it just right, so if I, the wrong splatter is in the corner, I'll tear out some splatter from somewhere else and put it in there in, to get it just right. Yeah, and you're making the splatter. Oh yeah, in, I'm in making many the splatter. Of these cases. Oh yeah. So, That's so you're drawing on top of them. Yeah, yeah. Do you think of them as a conversation with these manuscripts? Yeah, sometimes it can be it can be the splatter, the negative, or the positive. You know, like it can be in this case, it can be the blue talking to me or the white talking to me. That's very spaced out talk. But I'm telling you, it's true. You know what I mean? After a while, just like Mark says, you get into it and it it kind of starts taking its own shape and it, it leads you. And even the paper is talking that way too, where it is like really a kind of a spiritual thing where you have to like let those pieces like find their way. Like I'm saying Ouija board, same kind of thing. You don't know where they fit until you move them around a bit and then they have to go right where they say they 